Hello my dear friends, welcome back once again to my channel Lyceum of Politics. Friends, today let's discuss another very important and interesting socialist doctrine which is known as Fabian Socialism or Fabianism. So, let's begin our journey. So, my dear friends, Fabianism was a collectivist socialist doctrine that was operating in Britain. Okay? The Fabian Society was a British socialist organization founded on January 1884 in London. Basically, the society was an offshoot of another society known as the Fellowship of the New Life, which desired to reconstruct the principles of human life depending on ethics and morality. Okay? The basic aim of the Fabian Society was to establish socialism through evolution rather than revolution. And to propagate their ideas, my friends, the society published several works of various scholars. For example, like in 1889, the Fabian Essays in Socialism was published which was edited by Bernard Shaw. Now, the most important Fabian socialists were like Sidney Olivier, Sidney Webb, Harold Lusky, Graham Wallers, Annie Basin, Bernard Shaw and many more. And for your information, let me tell you that the Fabian Society founded the London School of Economics in 1895 and it still exists, that is the Fabian idea still exists in different countries of the world, okay? So, as I have told you just now in my earlier slide that the Fabians were adhered to evolutionary ideas rather than revolutionary ones. So, they build up the edifice of socialism on the foundations of our existing political and social institutions. Okay. So, one point is very clear my friends that the Fabians were undoubtedly socialists. There is no doubt about it. But the way, the method of approach was not similar to the other traditional socialists. Okay, So, the basic aim was to spread their ideas through the educated middle class and gradually they wanted to persuade the government to implement their ideas one by one. Okay, So, as you can understand from here that the Fabians did not solely depend on the working class like the other socialists to achieve a socialist society. Fine. So, now my friends, let us have a look at the basic tenets of Fabianism. The basic tenets of Fabianism were explained in a manifesto which was edited by George Bernard Shaw and it was adopted by the Fabian Society in 1884. Fine. Firstly, it talked about emancipation of land and industrial capital from the individuals and also from class ownership and ultimately vesting them in the hands of the entire community for the benefit of all in the society, okay? They also advocated for the extinction of private property and put an end to the rent system because they believed that the land should be transferred to the community from the landlord and those who possessed land rented it out in exchange of huge amount of money and naturally their income depended by virtue of their position and not on the any kind of service they were providing to the society, okay? They also proposed for providing reward to those who served the society through their own labor. And according to them, this would eventually help to the disappearance of a class from the society that simply sit and thrive on the labor of others without doing anything. Okay. They also wanted to enhance the social consciousness of the people within the society and gradually leading to practical equality of opportunity for all in the society. They believed that gradual socialist evolution of the society was only possible through dissemination of knowledge to all and to ensure that the rights are enjoyed by all, they advocated for equal citizenship for men and women in the society. See, the Fabians were not against the state, my friend. Okay, but yes, they wanted the state to be fair in their action. That is, the state shall provide educational facilities to all. It should broaden the purview of adult suffrage. And yes, of course, the state shall secure a very well-trained civil service system. In short, 
they wanted to say that the citizens would be allowed to exercise their power that they possess without any kind of hindrance coming from the state and in this way the individuals can bring about the appropriation of all forms of economic rent from both land and industrial capital through the use of national provincial and municipal governments and that would eventually lead to the establishment of socialism in the evolutionary method in the society okay so my dear friends this was fabianism for you hope it helps you do press the like button if you like our video and subscribe to our channel and share the video as much as possible and keep on inspiring us in this way because we are nothing without your support okay so till i come back as i always say never stop learning and keep on exploring i will come back to you very soon bye bye and take care